believe I'm next. Hello. We're back. I missed you guys all for two whole days. I didn't have you and it made me so sad. But for my section, it's called bring your own body weight. So you just need to bring, bring what you got. That's it. That's all you need. Okay, I guess I go next. Um, so Crusty said it's called Kitchen Cut. We're gonna get cooking in the kitchen and you need all of those items that Crusty listed. So a large pot, everything can be done without the items too. So no stress, we don't have it. It's just a way to make it like fun and very silly. Um, a large pot, if you have handles, that would be great. Um, Again, not necessary. Two frying pans, if they are of similar size, that's awesome. If not, then we'll just have to swap hands like halfway through so you can be balanced with your sides of your body. Um, a dish towel or another type of towel works great. And a bottle of dish soap or a water bottle. My dish soap is really running low, so I'm gonna be using a water bottle so I can have more weight. It just kind of depends. If you have a full dish soap, that is great um and a spatula or like a stirring spoon of sorts something along that nature yeah <laughs> hi friends my name is marisa lovely to see your faces here today um my section is coordination hey we're gonna be using two rolls of toilet paper if you don't have two, one is fine. And if you don't have any toilet paper because everyone hoarded it all, then just roll your socks up in a ball and then we'll make do with that. So it's totally fine. Use what you got. Um, but yeah, and I already mentioned the pair of socks. So that's what we'll be needing. Hey, I'm Anastasia. I will be doing the cool down today. Um, it's going to be flexibility. You just need your muscles. We're going to use our muscles to help us stretch out and cool down. So I will see y'all at the end. All right, let's just give it another minute. Just make sure we have everybody here before we get started. <laughs> Go ahead, Marisa. Okay, before we get into our household items, we're going to do a warm up. So go ahead, stand on your feet, spread out, find your own space. And we're just going to get warm. My toes are freezing, so I need to warm up. So just start bouncing here, hands by your side. Give it some jumps. Did I unmute? Let me just check. Yes, I did unmute. Okay, good. <laughs> start jumping and then jump side to side. Bounce side to side, let your arms be flappy. Nice, and then bring your arms up over your head. Put your hands in the air like you just don't care. Woo! <laughs> Decades, is this Saturday? <laughs> nice, and let's make arms super straight for some straight body hops. Straight elbows, squeeze your butt, stretch your fingers. Nice, and take it to some jumping jacks. Nice. All right, keep the momentum going. We're gonna take it to high knees. If you want, you can put your hands out in front of you and lift your knees up to your hands, or you can just pump your arms, whatever floats your boat. Keep it going, keep it going. Hands on your butt and try to kick your hands. Lift your heels all the way up. Nice. And back to jumping jacks one more time. Make them really small and really tight. Teeny tiny jacks. Good, okay, enough of that. Shake it out. Let's do some shoulder circles going backwards. Big circles here. Keep it going backwards and bend your arms for some elbow circles. Straighten out your arms for some straight arm circles. Reach up as tall as you can over the top and through the back, try to reach your hands together. Good, change direction. Straight arm circles going forward. And bend your elbows. 
I see a lot of new screens popped up. So hello, welcome everybody. <laughs> and shoulder circles going forward. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna do some squats, or not squats, but some, we're gonna start in a squat. <laughs> so go down low, open up your hips here. From your squat position, you're gonna hold on to your ankles or the tops of your feet. And we're gonna extend your legs as straight as they can go. And then bring it back down. When you bring your hips down, chest comes up and extend your legs straight again. We're gonna keep going, passing back and through these two. And maybe each time you extend your legs straight, they get a little straighter. Or if they're already there, hang your head a little lower. Few more here. Nice. All right, let's straighten your legs, bend your knees just a little bit and roll it all the way back up to the top. Nice. And we're just gonna do warm up our wrists real quick. So let's do some finger flicks here. So from your fist, flick your fingers through. You should make a little sound. Elbow straight. Good, flick a little faster. Flick a little faster. Ah, feel the burn. Nice, hold your fist and roll them out in a circle. And roll the other direction. Awesome, okay. Shake it out. Give it a little bounce. And we are gonna take it down low for our first round of exercises. So you should have your TP on hand. We're gonna start with one roll of TP. And we're gonna get our core going here and we're gonna do some um, weaves through our legs. So what we're gonna do, you're gonna kind of sit up and hold your feet up and your legs are gonna be doing this scissoring action and you're basically passing the TP underneath to the other hand and then as you switch your legs, your TP is going underneath. Yeah, so we're gonna do that together, timed, because I'm not good at counting, but I'm good at timing. <laughs> All right, on your mark, get set, go. Feet hovering off the floor, your legs are scissoring, pass your TP back and forth. In this position, keep your knees nice and straight, toes pointed. Awesome, we are halfway there. Five more seconds. Keep it going. Three, two, one, and relax. <sighs> nice job. All right, for this next one, you're gonna need two rolls of TP. Again, if you don't have two, if you only have one, that's fine. We're gonna do our Russian twist here. We're gonna stack them. It's a little silly, but that's okay. So again, my feet are gonna be hovering, but my knees are bent this time, and I'm gonna have my stack TP next to me. I'm going to take one TP, stack it on the other side, grab my other, stack on top, grab my invisible one, and then pass it back to the other side. <laughs> so we're gonna be going back and forth, stacking our TP towers. Again, for time. All right, on your mark, get set, go. Sit up nice and straight, bend your knees, pass your TP tower back and forth to each side. Awesome, we are halfway there. Keep going. Maybe go a little faster. Stack your TP, but don't knock it over. Keep squeezing your legs together. Five more seconds. And time. Take it out. Nice work. Okay. Next one is going to be we're going to do some TP V-ups. So we're just gonna use one for this one. I'm gonna start it with, uh, start with it in my hands. I'm gonna go flat body here. I'm gonna try to sit my lower body and upper body up at the same time. And I'm gonna pass the TP to my feet and then lower back down. And then I'm gonna sit both halves up again and extend. So I'm passing it back and forth between my hands and my feet. Um, if you can't quite reach, you can give it a little bend, that's fine. But we're trying not to like just lift your legs and pass it that way. 
Again, trying to lift your upper and lower body together. Yes. Okay. Get ready for time in three, two, one, begin. Try to keep your arms really straight as you pass back and forth. If you can, keep your legs nice and straight and your toes pointed. Feel the burn. Keep going. We're halfway there. Nice job. We got five seconds left. Three, two, one, and down. Yay, let's give that a little stretch. Go ahead and lay on your belly. And you can do whatever size cobra feels good for you to stretch it out. I'm gonna slowly work my way up to extended. <sighs> okay. Um, if you need to grab a drink of water while I'm explaining this next one, go ahead and do that. Um, this next one is going to be a, there's two parts to this. Um, the first style we're gonna do, this one your legs are staying straight up the whole time and it's just your upper body that's gonna be moving. So I'm gonna sit up and I'm gonna try to put the teepee between my feet and then I'm gonna drop the teepee down to my hands. I'm gonna sit up and try to stick it in there and down. Um, if you can't quite reach your feet, that's okay. You can bend them a little bit, but you're really thinking about lifting your shoulder blades off the floor and then squeeze it with your feet. When you're dropping it back down, still keep your shoulders lifted so I'm not just laying down on the floor to catch it. And then we'll make it a little more challenging after that. Yo, okie dokie, get ready. Legs up in the air, hold on to your teepee in your hands. And here we go. Sit up, place it between your feet and keep your shoulders lifted as you drop back down. Lift and place in your feet and catch. Working on hand-eye coordination. Good job. Really lift your shoulders as high as you can to place it in between your feet. We've got five more seconds. One more big reach. And time. Woo! Good job. Oh man, TP is tough. Okay, this one. I was practicing earlier in the afternoon. I'm not perfect at this, so just bear with me. <laughs> it's a good challenge. You're going to toss the teepee from your hands. Catch between your feet. Oh, I missed it. I'm going to try again. <laughs> uh -huh. Toss, catch. I did it. And then drop back down your hands. Toss, catch. And then lower back down. Hand-eye coordination. Hand-foot coordination. Yeah? Um, every time I'm throwing and catching, I'm still trying to lift my shoulders off the ground to stay active so I'm not just laying down here. Yes, and if you miss it and it rolls away, it's okay, go get it. I keep going. Okie dokie. Circus TP challenge on your mark. Get it. Begin. Shoulders off the floor. Oh gosh. Catch it with your feet. Oh. Oh. I'm like one for four here. <laughs> yes, I got one. If you can, try to keep your legs straight up in the air without bending. And you toss and catch with your feet. Oh. We have 10 more seconds. Keep it going. Three, two, one, down. Yay. Good job, guys. <laughs> Let me just check on the time really quick. Okay, cool. I got a few more challenges for you here. Um, hmm. and water. So the next one, we're going to start with one roll and then we'll go to two. So we're going to start um, on our knees and we're going to be going from, uh, Tipi's going to go on your back to balance and we're going to go from a bear pose to a plank. So I'll show you first and then you can try it. So I'm going to put the TP on my low back here. I'm going to bend over, keep it balanced, hands down. Now I'm in this tabletop position. I'm going to flex my feet and just lift my knees up so they're hovering. So I'm in this bear and then I'm going to tap my hands to my shoulders. 
tap, tap, and then touch my knee. Tap, tap. Then I'm gonna walk it to plank without dropping your teepee. One is easier than two TP. <laughs> so enjoy it now. After you do your plank, walk it back into your bear without dropping the toilet paper. Okay? Okay, great. <laughs> so grab your roll. Go ahead, place it in your lower back region. Hover so it's balanced. Hands under your shoulders. Flex your feet and just lift your knees off the floor. So now you're in this bear shape. And go ahead. Tap your shoulder, tap, tap, touch your knee. And if your TB falls down, just put it back on. Walk it to your plank shape. Tight core here, tap your shoulder, tap your shoulder, tap your thigh, tap your thigh. Nice, bring it back to bear. Knees in, shoulder again, ready. Shoulder, shoulder, knee, tap your knee. Walk it out to plank and tap your shoulder. Tap your shoulder, tap your leg, tap your leg. Yay, come on down. Easy peasy, that was the warm up round. Now you have two. It's gonna be a little wobblier. <laughs> so we're gonna stack these two on top of each other. Some of you, this two teepee tower might be super easy. So later you can go grab three, four, five teepees and balance this. <laughs> so I'm gonna take these two, stack them. I'm gonna put it around my back, keep. Okay, I'm gonna put it on my low back, set it, and then I'm gonna lower. From here, I'll put my hands down to my bear, and we're gonna do the exact same thing. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so go ahead, stack your TP. Uh oh, I dropped mine. Bring it around your back, grab on with your other hand, put it in your low back, tip over, balance it. And one hand down, other hand down. Okay. Flex your feet. Lift your knees to your bare position. Ooh. And tap your shoulder. Here we go. Tap one shoulder, other shoulder. Tap your knee. Tap your knee. Extend your leg straight out behind you. Ooh. Don't fall over your tower. And oh, oh, there it goes. Keep going. Tap your shoulder. Tap your shoulder. Tap your leg. Jab your leg, walk it back into your bear. I'm gonna reset. We can try again. If you're still solid and haven't fallen over, keep going. <laughs> I am resetting here. From bear, tap shoulder, shoulder, tap knee, tap knee. Nice and easy, go on the plank. Oh, God. Shoulder, shoulder, leg, leg. I hope you guys are having success over there. It's hard to see, but I believe in you. <laughs> Try one or two more times. If it's easy, move, make faster movements because it'll be harder to balance the teepee when you're moving fast. Then bring it back to your bear. One more time, everybody. After you make it from your plank, walk it to your bear and lower down. Ah, there goes my teepee. Teepee in the air. Take a bow wherever you are. Beautiful. Woohoo. Good job, guys. I ran out of time for the sock challenge, but that's okay. We'll just save it for next time. Good work, everybody. I'm going to pass it off to Saza for Kitchen Cut. <laughs> Thanks, Teresa. I could not balance two at all. So that was a great challenge that I'll have to work on. Um, I'm going to put my apron on because we're going to move to the kitchen. So I have my circus uh, chef apron. I'm going to rock for you guys while we're doing all of these. <laughs> we're going to start standing and you're going to grab your large pot. Yeah, grab that pot. Uh, uh. If it has handles, hold on to the handles. If not, you can hold on to the sides. Whatever is clever. We are going to do some squats to overhead press um, using our pot as our weight and our resistance. So um, I like to call these the boiler. So I'm boiling my water. So I'm gonna squat to scoop my water, then I'm gonna bring it up, I'm gonna press it overhead, and I'm gonna bring it back down. And I'm gonna repeat. We're gonna do 15 of these all together. 
I know it's not a lot of weight, but the repetition of the motion should hopefully give you a nice little bird. And if you want to make this more challenging for yourself, if you're like, I'm really into this, then you can always put shit in your pot. Fill that pot up with stuff. What do you got lying around? Throw it in there and add some more weight. But for right now, we are just going to be boiling our water. We're heating it up so we can make a delicious meal. Yes, pushing ahead. And also if you have like really heavy, if this is like cast iron kind of shit, you're gonna be getting a little bit more of a burn than maybe some of us will. Nice. Couple more here. We almost heat up the water. We're almost ready. Our noodles are cooking. I kind of lost count, but let's just do one more for good luck. <laughs> nice job, you guys. Okay, we are going to drain our noodles now that we just cooked. Duh. So I'm going to hold my pot out in front and I'm going to do lateral lifts over my head. I'm setting my shoulders back and down, really trying to engage my lats, squeezing my shoulder blades as I do these lifts. Lifting up, bringing back down. Nice and controlled motion for this. Nice. We're going to do 15 of these as well. Once again, if you added weight into this, if you're like, I'm going to work out my kitchen objects all the time, then this could be to your particular level of challenge. But right now, we're just dumping out our noodles. We're draining them. We're dumping them all over our head, <laughs> like I always want to do. <laughs> just bathe in the noodles. Nice. And a couple more. Hopefully you're feeling a burn somewhere. For me, this is in my biceps. Feeling a little, a little heat working up. And a couple more. Last one and lift. Okay, awesome. We are gonna take this down to the ground. Oh, I also realized I didn't start my timer. How can I coach things right if I don't have my timer on? Let me just start that. So I'm going to do a lifted tricep push-up. So tricep push-up, hands are right under your shoulders. You're coming down like so. I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna use my pot to do it. So I have handles on my pot, they're nice and sturdy. Please do this with discretion. Do not break your kitchenware. Circus workout party is not responsible for broken kitchenware items. But I'm gonna grab the side handles and set it up right underneath my shoulders. And I'm gonna do my push-ups like so. So I can get even lower than I would be able to get onto the ground. Cause I'm going kind of beyond and pretty much placing my chest into the pot. If you don't have a pot, guess what? You can just do these on the ground. Just do tricep push-ups. I just enjoy the fact that I'm imagining eating my spaghetti cause I don't have any silverware. Um, so I'm just gonna eat my spaghetti like this. We're gonna do 10 of these. Trying to maintain that nice tight core, squeezing the booty. You can also go down onto your knees for this if you need to. Work to your level, modifications are fine. Nice. I'm actually very impressed with my pot. You're doing a great job, pot, holding up. Couple more. Last one. And 10. Nice job, you guys. We are going to flip that right around. So I'm gonna flip my pot upside down. So I have this nice sturdy drum <laughs> slash platform. If you don't have a pot, you can use anything that raises you up off the ground about a foot. Um, I'm gonna put my feet onto my pot. I'm going to raise up and I'm gonna do my tricep dips. So I'm doing tricep dips with the lift of the pot helping me out. So this is, we're really excited we made our spaghetti. So now we're gonna celebrate by doing a little thrust to the sky. We're gonna do 10 of these all together. Ready? And let's do it. Hands pointed toward the body. Elbows are going out behind you. Nice. You all look like expert chefs. Couple more. Last one. And 10. Nice job. Woo! Go ahead and like, you know, give your pot a little 
congratulatory padding. Great for working out and for instrumentation. Who knew? I'm gonna put that pot off to the side and I'm gonna grab my water bottle or dish soap. My water bottle is completely full because I wanted the most amount of weight possible. Um, you can do this with an empty water bottle. It's up to you. And if you don't even have anything to hold on to, that's okay too. I recommend not using an animal because they might scratch you. So for this one, I'm gonna come back up to standing. I'm gonna just bend that up there. We are going to be doing overhead tricep extensions. Ooh, yes. I call this the mixer because you're mixing your drink. I'm gonna hold my water bottle with both hands, bring my arms up overhead. Then I'm gonna bend back so it's coming behind me. I'm squeezing my ears with my biceps. Then I'm gonna raise back up to that full extension. Yes? We're gonna do 10 of these all together. So you're mixing up your drink. All of these are tricep workouts. Your triceps will hopefully be feeling a lot of love after this. And you'll be feeling like a top chef, drip mixer. Or if you have your dish soap, this is how you're gonna squirt your soap in the sink. If you wanna get creative, quarantine's been boring. Nice. Couple more here. Last one. And 10. Awesome. Go ahead and bring that down. Shake it out a little bit. We're gonna move right along into ooh, our kickbacks. So we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be pouring our drinks. I like, we've done other exercises where we pour our drinks behind us. This one is very similar. I'm going to put one leg in front, one leg behind. I'm gonna bend that front knee so I can rest on it to support my back. I'm gonna take my water bottle or dish soap to the side and then I'm gonna lift it up behind me and bring it back down. It's a small, concise movement. I'm contracting my tricep to lift it and lower. So we're gonna do 10 of these each side. Yes. You showed off how you mix your drinks. Now you're showing off how you pour them. People are just sliding their glasses under. They're like, what, you're incredible. You are a kitchen master. Nice. Really squeezing that tricep muscle at the top. And switch, swap over your hands, turn to the other side, bend that knee in the front a little bit so you have something to rest on. So you can keep your back nice and straight and not hunched over. Same thing. Lifting up to the back. Nice job, you guys. Couple more. Pour a few more drinks. Your friends are thirsty. And last one. Awesome. Okay. Go ahead and put that down. We are going to, ooh, we're going to move on. Just kidding. Keep holding on to that water bottle. Did I go away? Where did you guys go? Okay, we're back. <laughs> we're gonna do bicep curls. So I'm gonna take my water bottle or dish soap in my hand and I'm gonna lift it up because I wanna enjoy my own beverage. So my arms on the side, elbows pinned in, lifting up, shoulders down and engaged. So I'm doing little bicep curls, yes. I like the use of objects for this. I see more than just a water bottle <laughs> being utilized. You can really use anything with weight for this. A cat would be appropriate if your cat would stand it. Nice. And let's switch sides. Same thing. Nice. Just tiny little curls. If we had time, I would do three reps of all of these things because we have a lighter weight. So if you don't have heavier weights, up your reps. But we don't have time. But later, on your own time, give it a try. Couple more. Nice. You have made your beverage. You have enjoyed your beverage. Put that beverage down. And we're going to move on to our frying pans. We're gonna be fancy chefs. We're gonna be tossing our food around. That's what the fanciest of chefs do. We're gonna be doing lateral side raises. So mine are also different sizes, so I'm gonna swap halfway through. I'm just lifting up to a T-shape and lowering back down. Keeping, again, my shoulders are rolled back and engaged. My abs are also engaged. My back is nice and straight, so proper posture on these as I raise up and lower. 
Yes. This, the visual of this is bringing me great joy. You all look like you're cooking up something really impressive in the skillets. You're just tossing it and tossing. And keep going unless you have two different sizes. Then swap hands and do the same amount on the other side. So we're a little balanced. I actually hate cooking, so the amount of cooking where I have is pretty limited. But I like cooking if it's like this. <laughs> Let's do one more and awesome. Okay, keeping those frying pans in our hands, we are going to do our arm circles. So you can be standing for this, you can sit, you can do whatever floats your little boat. We're gonna be doing little circles towards the front. So arms are out straight in a T, and I'm doing tiny, tiny little circles. I'm stirring it up, I'm making some stir fry. Nice. You can go quicker if you want or slower. It's up to you. Whatever amount of burn you would like to feel. If you have two different size objects, swap hands, poop, out to the side, and we're gonna go backwards. So switch up the direction of your circles. Still keeping the abs engaged, standing up nice and straight. Arms are in a nice T out to the side. Think about engaging your lats, rolling the shoulders down your back. They're not sneaking up to your ears. I don't know about you, but I am feeling these. Once again, probably because I never cook, so I don't know how to handle a frying pan. <laughs> and awesome, let's shake that out. Okay, I am running out of time, but I have a couple more things I wanna do. Go ahead and grab your dish towel or other towel of choice. We're gonna do some resistance pulls. I'm going to take my towel, I'm gonna to hold it directly in front of me, and then I'm going to pull as hard as I can away from one another. So I'm trying to rip this towel in half. Once again, shoulders are down the back, everything is nice and engaged. You're gonna pull out and count to five, pulling as hard as you can, you're gonna rip this towel in half. You're sick of cooking, you're sick of cleaning, and relax. Let's do it again, pulling as hard as you can, Yes, and relax one last time. Rip that towel, rip it in half, and relax. Awesome, we're gonna do the same exact thing, this time up and above our heads. So I am engaging my shoulders down. I have my little animal friend cooking with me, sitting on my shoulder. I don't wanna squish him, so I'm gonna give him space to sit. I'm doing that same exact thing. I'm pulling out as hard as I can to the sides, trying to rip this towel in half, and relax. One more time, and relax. Last one, rip that towel, and relax. We're gonna take that towel, we're gonna fancy bring it behind our backs. Oops, I'm holding it like so. Once again, shoulders are rolled back and down, engaged, core is engaged. I'm not like all the way out here, I'm pretty close to my booty for this, because it's all about the resistance. I'm gonna pull, once again, as hard as I can, trying to rip that in half. You should be feeling all of these in different parts of your arms. Hopefully, unless you're just a beast, then release. One more time, as hard as you can. You couldn't rip in the other two directions, but maybe this is the one. Release, one last pull. Really show them how sick you are cleaning up the kitchen. And release. Awesome, okay, last thing, really quick. I think I'm out of time, but I really want to do it because they're Marisa's mobility circles is what I'm calling them. So we used a teacup and a shoe before. This time we're gonna use our spatula or other such object. I'm holding it out in front of me. I'm gonna swoop it underneath, come around up and over my head and back down. Trying not to drop my spatula or grip my spatula. I'm just balancing it, showing off all of my fancy cooking skills that I have learned. And we're gonna reverse it. So going up over your head, curling back in and around. Nice. You can also pretend your spatula is an airplane, which is one of my favorite things to do. Awesome, switch hands. Same thing, we're gonna start going in, out, up and around. Yes. Your beautiful plastic airplanes flying through the sky. And reverse it, up overhead, curling back in. 
maintaining that nice flat palm up towards the sky this entire time so that hopefully you don't drop your spatula airplane. Amazing! You guys are fantastic chefs. You all win in my book. I'm gonna pass it off to Thylan. Sazi, even though you don't do abs every time, I always feel like I get an ab workout because that's just amazing. Oh my God. Spatula airplane. That's, yep. No, that makes cooking so much better. All right. So for my section, you don't need anything but your body. So start moving those hips. Move your legs. My dog needs a lot of attention right now, so I'm going to put her out of the room. Move your hips. Beautiful. All right. So the very first thing we're going to do if you could watch me first, it's gonna be a sequence and then we'll join in together. Everything will be done for a count of eight because we like to dance and move. So the first thing we do, get into a wide squat. We're gonna move those legs all the way apart. Watch first and then you go. So we're gonna come down nice and slow. I always start with my right leg for everything. You can choose whichever one. I'm gonna start up, raise my heel, bring the other heel up, Drop my first heel, drop my second. Do pulses up and down. Oh my gosh, I'm already out of breath. Do pulses up and down. Stay in your wide squat, stretch over, stretch over. Jump narrow, jump narrow, and raise. Everything will be for a count of eight. So here we go. Three, two, one. Deep squat. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight. Raise your heels. One, two, drop them. Three, four, raise the other side. Five, six, seven, eight. Half pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Jump in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You got it. Here we go. We're doing it again. Two more times. Okay, get in that deep squat. We're going down. The ship's going down, but it's okay because we're together. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Heels up. One, two, three, four. Other side. Five, six, seven, eight. Pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Jump in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I totally forgot about stretching. That's on me. If you did it, you're much more ahead. One more time. Heels out. Ground those legs. Keep our knees out. Knees over our ankles. And go down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Heels up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, stretch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, jump in. One, two, three, four, stay low, five, six, seven, eight, you did it. Well done, I'm so out of breath. Oh my gosh, you guys are amazing. All right, take a minute, grab some water, and we are moving on to our next thing. Oh. oh my gosh, there's a bandit of kids outside of my window. They do not look like they're social distancing. I wanna be the like grandma that goes and yells at them. What are they doing? All right, next thing we're gonna do is go down on our knees. We're kneeling with our shins. Let me put that up. All right, so we're kneeling, shins down. I start everything on my right. You can start on your left if you want. I'm gonna bring my leg up at a 90-90. So that shin is facing the wall and my quad is now facing the ceiling. I'm gonna bring the other leg up. So I stay in a narrow and a deep squat. I'm gonna bring the leg that I started with to tap towards the front, bring back to the middle, tap to the side, bring to the middle, tap behind, and then go back to kneeling. We're gonna do four sides, or four sides, four times on our first side, 
four times on our second side, okay? I'm starting on my right, you can start with me. Here we go. Up, up, to the front, to the middle, to the side, to the middle, back and down. Repeat, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last one, one, two, forward, middle, side, middle, back and down. Nice, now we're going to the other side. For me, that's the left. And begin, up, up, forward, middle, side, middle, back, down, up, up, forward, middle, side, middle, back, down from the side, up, up, forward, middle, side, middle, back, down, last one, stay deep, up, up, forward, middle, side, middle, down, down, yeah! I love watching everyone on the screen because it just like, looks like we're together and flowing and it's beautiful. Oh my gosh. I'm so out of breath. You all look like you're just killing it though. Is anyone else dying? Is it just me? Anastasia, your thighs. Yeah. All right, we're moving on to a little bit of a choreograph sequence. Like I said, I start with my right. So I'm gonna continue to hold that true. Watch first, and then we can do it together as a team. So I'm gonna start in a pretty wide stance. I'm gonna use my right leg to go behind my left into a curtsy squat. I'm gonna come back up, extend the leg that I started with and stretch out. Bring my knee up to meet my opposite elbow for a side crunch. Back out to a wide stance. Sweep my arms up, down and around for a deep squat. And then I'm gonna take my arms, dive up and over, down to the ground, round my back, and then scoop back with wide elbows over to the other side. Then curtsy on the other side. Repeat on the same, same side. Let's do four times each, I believe. Are we ready? Thumbs up, yes. If you're ready, shake your butt. <laughs> All right, wide stance, here we go. Curtsy. Long stretch, side crunch, deep squat, move your arms, dive down to the ground, round back, arch, sexy it up, good. Curtsy to the other side, stretch it out, side crunch, deep squat, dive forward and down, arch it back up, that's perfect, let's go again. It's number two. Deep squat and around. Dive down to the ground. Arch it up. Curtsy on the other side. Good, everybody. We are halfway through. All right, back to the beginning. Curtsy. Extend. Side crunch. Deep sweeping squat. Dive down. Arch up, other side. Sweep down and up. Dive down and up. Curtsy, get that knee down. Side crunch, bend. Deep squat up to the top, reach. Dive way down. Arch it up. Curtsy on the other side. All right, this will be our last round. So good. Did you guys find your flow, find your rhythm? Yay, that was amazing. That was awesome. All right, I think we went a little over for stazas, so I'm thinking a break would be good now. What do you think, Cressy? Otherwise, I've definitely got more. 
Three more minutes. Oh, we can do that. All right. We're going to take it a little easy. Come down to your tabletop position. Do a couple cat cows since we just were working on our arches and our rounded backs. Lift your chest up to the sky and reverse. Bring that belly button in towards your spine. Good. All right, maintain a neutral back. We're gonna take one leg and push it back to the ceiling, staying in a 90 degree angle. Once we're up here with a flat foot, we're gonna pulse up and down, never going past parallel with our knee to the floor for 20 seconds. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your hamstrings. Woo, feel the burn. Bring it down, place it on the floor, and switch to the other side. Kick it back, heel is flexed, or sorry, foot is flexed, heel to the ceiling, squeeze and pulse. Three, two, one, bring it down. All right, go back to our first knee. We're gonna keep that 90 degree position and go out to the side for some fire hydrants. Give everybody a show, it's fine. We're all friends here, it's okay. Up and down. Up and down, squeeze that side booty. Good, now this time on your up, maintain those same pulses with a flex foot. Up and down. Yeah, this looks like we're so cool. <laughs> and hold it up, 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 really good at down. All right, other side. Hydrants out and back. We're just sweeping that knee away from our midline and back to our midline. Maintain a flex foot. Squeeze the top of your booty. Check in with your shoulders. Are they over your hands right now? If not, make little adjustments. And pulses up at the top. Like our leg is a little butterfly wing. Just Flapping in the air. And hold it at the top, hold. Keep going, bring it down. Good, all right. Let's bring our knees out to 90 degrees behind us for a hip stretch, back and forth. Let's catch our breath. Toes together, heels apart. Just rocking forward and back, keeping Contact to the floor with my knees and my forearms. Squeeze your knees together. Squeeze, 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 and let it go. See if you can stretch a little bit further and deeper. One more time, squeeze together. And relax. <sighs> Y'all, thank you so much for joining me. I'm really out of breath. That that was great. You were all so amazing. I feel like I'm just in a class, which I am with you all, but <laughs> it's so nice to have this every day. I truly missed not having this for two days. This is amazing. Thank you all for showing up and coming and just like really being here. So thank you. It's time to go on a break. Yay. Awesome. We'll just take a couple minute break. That was really good. I'm feeling awesome. I agree with Thailand. Having two days off was actually kind of rough. I was in way more pain today than I've been any other day of quarantine. Um, and I don't know, we were doing Marisa's toilet paper challenge and I was like, I'm dying. I no longer know how to use my muscles. So um, come to all of the parties and you won't suffer like I did. All right, take a quick break. I'll see you in a couple of minutes. We'll all see each other in a couple of minutes. Although you don't need anything for cool down, for comfort, um, having a chair or something to be on or a blanket or strap could be useful. Um, but since I have my kitchen towel or you still have your kitchen towel, you can use that too.
Um, so Anastasia, if it seems like people are back, I think we're good to go. Can you just repeat one more time what um, you said we should have? Uh, you don't have to have anything, but uh, for personal comfort, like for balance, if you have a surface, like a chair on which to grab or the edge of a couch, and then depending on your flexibility, um, having a strap, or if you don't have a strap, I'm just going to use like my kitchen towel, <laughs> something that you can extend you know, your reach. If like grabbing your foot with a straight leg is challenging, then a scarf, something like that. If not, you can use your hands. Um, I'm going to give people one more minute, 30 more seconds, because there's a couple of people that I see that are still missing. Um, so as soon as they get back, we will start cooling down. It's funny, I always like come for the workout, but I feel like I stay for the entertainment and the humor. <laughs> y'all are funny. I aspire to be as funny as y'all are one day. <laughs> Alrighty, looks like everyone is back. So let's begin our cool down. Um, first, we're just gonna fold forward. I'm gonna have my legs comfortable distance apart and I'm gonna fold over. Part of the stretches that we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be using our own body as resistance. So as I fold forward, you can grab onto your own legs and really try to flatten your back. So I'm pulling with my arms in order to do that. Now, depending on your flexibility, you might be more up here, that's okay. You might be more down here, that's also okay. But I'm pulling and I'm trying to untuck my tailbone. I'm trying to point my tailbone up at the sky and just breathe. Being here for just a moment. Excellent. We're then gonna use this as a shoulder stretch I uh, love this one because this one gets into the back of my shoulder, which is a hard one for me to stretch. I'm going to have one hand down on the floor, and if your hands can't reach, move your feet further apart until your hand can reach. Or you can prop your hand up on a book or something, or on a chair. Your other hand's going to reach between your own arm and your leg and grab your shin. And then that same side as the hand that's grabbing the shin, that knee is going to bend, and I'm going to try to get a stretch on the back of the shoulder. The hand on the floor is just for balance. If you don't feel like you need it, you don't have to have it there. But the more that I bend this knee, the more of a stretch I'm gonna feel in my shoulder. Take a couple of breaths here. Excellent, and then come on out of that, we're gonna switch sides, other hand in the middle, other arm on your shin, and then you're bending your knee. And it's not the knee that you're grabbing that you're gonna bend, it's the other knee. In case there's any confusion. Yeah, everyone looks like they've got it. Good. And hopefully you feel this around your shoulder blade area. Looking good. And then come on out of that. We're gonna lay on the floor for the next one. We're gonna do our paint brushes, which is one of my favorite flexibility exercises. Now, you can do this a couple of ways. You can have one leg straight and then the other leg will be doing the paint brushes. Or if that's really intense, you can have that knee bent up to you. But I'm gonna keep my leg straight. I'm gonna pull my working leg in towards my chest. I'm really trying to tuck by using my low abs. And then I'm gonna to try to keep my thigh the same distance from my chest as I straighten that leg. And that's gonna be really challenging. So really use your muscles to try to really pull your leg in towards your chest. Then you're gonna flex your foot and you're gonna paint the ceiling with the bottom of the foot. And you're just gonna repeat. We're gonna do this 10 times. Knee to chest, really try to straighten the leg, flex the foot, paint the ceiling. Now, if you're keeping your other leg on the floor, really try to keep it straight and really try to keep your heel in contact with the floor. So I'm also getting a little bit of a hip opener at the same time. And we'll do a specific hip opener later, but 
if you also want that challenge. Good, I've got two more. Excellent, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and switch sides. We're gonna do 10 on the other side as well. Knee to chest, pulling in. Now if you start to feel this in your abs, that's okay. You're doing a great job. It means you're really using your abdominal muscles to help make room for your thigh to come in closer. If your legs start shaking or trembling, that's also a good thing. You're doing a great job. <laughs> Three more on this side. I'm really seeing if I can uh, bring my leg closer to my face each time. I know visibly there isn't much difference, but I'm really trying hard. <laughs> Last one. Awesome. Let those rest for a moment. If you need to shake out your legs, you can. For the next one, we're going to work on our hamstring flexibility again, but this time with the resistance of our arms. I sometimes call these leg straighteners or refer to them as leg straighteners. And again, your other leg has the option of being straight or bent. The leg that we're pulling into our chest, this time we're gonna grab behind the knee and I'm gonna go ahead and interlace my fingers for a nice solid grip. And I'm gonna go ahead and straighten my leg. And I want you to hold your leg in the position where you can have it straight, but it's a little bit of effort, which means that if you need to use your a dish rag or cloth to give yourself a little bit more room, you totally can do that as well. Okay. But from our position, you're going to relax your leg. You're just you're going to let it rest in your own arms. You don't want to bend the knee. That's too relaxed, but just relax the leg. Don't work too hard. Then 10 times you're going to engage the quad and really press firmly into our hands. And that's going to cause your leg to really straighten and then relax and straighten and relax and straighten. We're gonna do 10 of those. Yeah, very nice. And of course, if you want more challenge, bring that leg in closer. We're really working on that active flexibility here. Beautiful, you might start to feel this in your quad. The quads might start to get really tired. That's okay, you're doing a great job. Once you've done your 10 here, and that was 10 for me, I'm going to go ahead and switch sides. This is also a great exercise if you have uh, problems with microbending. If you're an aerialist and you have microbending, if you notice you microbend a lot, this is a good one for it. And this is number 10 for me. Good. Let's let give that a rest for a moment. Um, we're going to do a hip flexor stretch. This is the one that having something to balance on might be useful, such as the edge of some furniture. But otherwise, you can do it without just, you know, if you lose your balance, be careful. I'm going to come to a lunge. I'm going to come to a fairly low lunge, meaning that my front foot is going to be pretty forward so that I can find a low position with my hips and still keep my front ankle bone under my knee. Then if you need your object for balance, it's nice to have it on the side so that your shoulders stay above your hips. Or if you have to have it, you can have it in front and that's fine too. I'm gonna to tuck my back toes. Now we're gonna do this, we're gonna to try to do this 10 times on each side, but I'm gonna to try to straighten my back leg without lifting too high up. If you lift a little bit, that's okay. A little bit of lift is hard to avoid, but try not to like come up completely because then you're defeating the point of the stretch. Keep your butt squeezed. This is really gonna open up the hip flexors and that quad. So the leg straightening on the back. The knee is coming up and I'm really trying to stay low with my hip. You should feel quite a stretch on the front of that hip when doing this. Nice, everybody, looking good. Yep. A 
We've got one more on this side. And I'm gonna go ahead and switch sides. I love this stretch to really warm up and lengthen out my hip flexors. My hip flexors feel super tight. This one gets it for me. Nice. Good. All right. We're going to have a seat on our butt. You can also have a seat on your chair or stool or the edge of your object. Um, sitting on your butt will make this a little bit more of a balance challenge. Sitting on the edge of a chair or a stool can also, well, if you don't miss, can also help reinforce that tuck. So I want to be in a slight back bend. I don't want to be tucked through my pelvis. I want to be kind of rotated back. So that's kind of what I'm aiming for as much as possible. It's a little bit harder to do that when you're sitting on the floor, but do your bestest. You're going to grab the bottom of your foot and or grab your strap and support the bottom of your foot. The other leg can be bent for support or straight as well. And you're going to try to straighten that leg towards the ceiling, keeping your foot nice and flexed. You're just gonna do this five times, but really try to pull the knee to the chest Try to stay long through the back and straighten your foot towards the ceiling. The idea is each time you're getting a little bit closer to foot, heel pointing straight up. Nice, everyone. And I'm really pulling with my arms, I'm doing a lot of effort with my arms here. Good. That was five for me. So I'm going to go ahead and do five on the other side. Wonderful. Really check in, make sure that you're not overly tucking or curling through your upper back, I mean, and through your lower back as well. You guys look fantastic. Good. Once you've done your five on both sides, after this, of course, you can go into like splits because you've warmed up your hamstring and your hip flexor. That's a great thing to do. Um, but we are at time. So uh, thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for showing up and being here and participating with me. Uh, like I said, I come for the warm up, but I stay for the humor and I also stay for all of the love. Um, you guys are really stellar. Thank you so much. And thank you, Cressy for organizing everything, of course. Cheers. Oh my gosh, my heart feels so good. Last week was really challenging and I can already tell this week is gonna be so much better just by seeing everyone's face and moving and breathing with you all. Thank you so much. This was a really amazing day. My body feels so good. Cressy, our faithful leader. I appreciate you so much. You are leading us all together as a team. It's amazing. Anastasia, Marisa, and Staza. Oh my gosh, everyone's workout really kicked my butt, including that cool down. <laughs> so thank you so much. Thank you guys. That was so much fun. I loved all of the things. Anastasia, that's such a great hip opener. My hips feel really good right now. Thank you. That's awesome. I'm going to start doing that. Just one of my favorite things about doing these workouts is that I learn something new like every time that I'm going to take with me and continue to do because it works really well for my body. So thanks, guys. And thank you, Cressy, for organizing and everybody for coming. And mwah to you all. <laughs> Thanks everybody for showing up for these. These are, these brighten my day all the time. So I appreciate all of you for coming and Chrissy for putting this together and coaches for being so creative and well-rounded and wonderful. I also learn lots of new things. So go team. Um, Chrissy says stick around for a group photo if you want. <laughs>
Yes. And I'm hoping because Thailand's been my like um, technology, believe it or not, Thailand, you've been my technology guru. <laughs> Even though I know you've been struggling with technology. Um, so I